Hello, I'm Denise. I'm going to read you a story today called Lifetimes. This book was written by Brian, Melanie, and Robert Ingpen. Those are the authors. And I guess the illustrators, although it doesn't say. Lifetimes. This says, a beautiful way to explain death. There is a beginning and an ending for everything that is alive. In between is living. See the nest with eggs? All around us, everywhere, beginnings and endings are going on all the time. This says these are broken periwinkle shells with living in between. Lionfish. This is true for all living things, for plants, for people, for birds, for fish, for trees, for animals, even for the tiniest insect. Sometimes living things become ill or they get hurt. Mostly, of course, they get better again, but there are times when they are hurt so badly or they are so ill that they die because they can no longer stay alive. This can happen when they are young or old or anywhere in between. That butterfly is dead, huh? It may be sad, but it is the way of all things, and it is true for everything that is alive. For plants, for people, for birds, for fish, for trees, for animals, even for the tiniest insect. There are lots of living things in our world, and each one has its own special lifetime. What do you see growing? Manzana? Apple? Trees that are tall and strong go slowly, standing in the sunshine and in the rain. Some of them live for a very long time indeed, as long as a hundred years or more. That is their lifetime. There's a grapevine and it's budding out. An old grapevine with a new bud. Rabbits and mice grow up in only a few weeks. Then they go on to live for a year or two, crunching up carrots and nibbling at cheese until they grow old, very tired, and it is their time to die. That is how it happens to be for rabbits and mice. It is the way they live, and it is their lifetime. You see the rabbit and the mouse? Are there more than one? Just one mouse. Flowers and vegetables planted as seeds at the beginning of spring, when the earth is warm, grow quickly to live through the heat of summer. The days pass and they become old during autumn when it is cooler. Then when winter comes and it is cold, they die. It is the way they live. That is their lifetime. Butterflies live as butterflies for only a few weeks. Once they have dried their wings, they flutter and flit from leaf to flower. At first, they are bright and quick, but as time passes, they begin to slow down until finally they can go no further. They rest for a while and then they die. That is the way butterflies live and that is their lifetime. Very different, huh? Lots of things have different lifetimes. Birds grow up quite quickly too. It is often no more than a few months from the time they hatch until they are strong enough to fly and feed themselves. How long they live after that seems to depend upon their size. Mostly the bigger they are, the longer they will be alive. That is the way birds live. Some for as long as 50 years others for no more than two or three. But however long, it is their lifetime for each one. 
This is a kookaburra and an emu wren from Australia. We used to know a song about a kookaburra and it was a lot of fun. Maybe I'll share it with you sometime. Fish swimming in lakes and rivers or in the sea can be so tiny. It is hard to tell that they're there at all or so big that the only way to describe them is enormous. Again, as far as we know, it seems that the smaller they are, the shorter will be their lifetime. That is how it is for fish. Their lives can be as little as a day or so, or as long as 80 or 90 years. It is the way they live, and those are their lifetimes. Do you know any humans who have lived for 80 or 90 years? Maybe you do. This says this is a school of startled anchovy. Have you ever eaten a tiny anchovy? And people? Look at that child. An airplane is going over. Do you hear it? Well, like everything else that is alive, people have their lifetimes too. They live for 60 or 70 years, sometimes even longer, doing all the things that people like to do growing up and being grown up. People of all ages in that picture. It can happen though, just as it does with all other living things that people become ill or they get hurt. Mostly, of course, they get better again, but there are times when they are so badly hurt or they are so ill that they die because they can no longer stay alive. It may be sad, but that is how it is for people. It is the way they live and it is their lifetime. What do you think is happening to this boy? Can you see? Looks like he has a splinter, huh? Yeah. So, no matter how long they are, or how short, lifetimes are really all the same. They have beginnings and endings, and there is living in between. That is how things are for plants, for people, for birds, for fish, for animals, even for the tiniest insects. I hope you enjoyed this story. I have more. You can click Ask a Grown Up to help you click on the subscribe button below and you'll be notified when new stories are posted. Hope you have a great day.